Hello YouTube, my name's Imogen and welcome to a baking video. I have a massive sweet tooth. I love anything sweet. I can't finish my day without having a sweet treat and I am super into baking at the moment. And some things that I'm absolutely loving, not even necessarily baking, just making are um, sort of healthy raw treats so that I could still have my sweet fix and not feel so guilty about it. About it. So today I am going to be making chocolate and coconut protein balls. They are so delicious and you have to be careful you don't have too many because they are very Moorish. Um, very, very easy recipe and quite inexpensive as well. So enjoy. Start off with half a cup of dates. Um, now these have been soaked in boiling water for about two hours now. So in. There you go. I do drain them, but I leave a little bit of water just because if you're not using fruit processor and you're just using the Nutribullet like I am, um, it can get a little bit sticky on the side. So I like that just to sort of lubricate it around. <laughs> Next, we're going to put one cup of almond meal in. Next is one third of a cup of protein powder. You don't have to add these, but this is what makes it the protein balls. One third of a cup of coconut oil. Three tablespoons of cocoa or cacao powder. And one tablespoon of chia seed. Doesn't that look brilliant? All the different layers. You've got your mixture. It should look a little something like this and be a little bit, like it's a little bit sticky, but it's still movable. Um, if it is too wet or too sticky, just add some more almond meal. I did, um, uh, and it will just make it like combine a little bit easier. Then you're gonna get half a cup of shredded or desiccated coconut, whatever suits you, um, and spread it out all over your clean workbench. And, oh, my hands look so fat and chunky. Then you're going to get your mixture. Make sure your hands are clean. Grab the size ball that you want, roll it into a ball shape, and then, Roll it in the coconut. And you should have a perfect coconut protein ball like this. There you go, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed making them and I have definitely had a bit too many of them. And Noah loves them too, they're a big hit for Noah as well. If you have any questions on products I use or methods or a bit unclear on what I did, please don't hesitate to pop it in the comment section below and I will be able to answer for you guys. I will see you very, very soon with a new video. Mwah. Thanks for watching, bye.